morning. Um, today we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and it is by far the most significant and most important event in human history. And I want to just read a couple of scriptures this morning, and just um, as we just do a short devotional this morning. But in 1 Corinthians um, verse 18, Paul says the following. He says, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. <clears throat> But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. And then he writes further on, and in verse 22, For the Jews request a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified. To the Jews a stumbling block, to the Greeks foolishness, but to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, it's Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. Verse 27, But God has chosen the foolish things of this world, to put to shame the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of this world, to put to shame the things which are mighty, and the base things of the world, and the things which are despised, God has chosen, and the things which are not, to bring to nothing the things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. In verse 31, that he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. Paul here is pointing us to God. He's pointing us to the cross. He's pointing us to what God did for us in Christ through the cross. And we as a world are going through um, some difficult times at the moment. And we're going through some difficult challenges as a nation. You might be going through some difficult things as a family. You might be going through difficult things personally. And as I was reading this, I was just reminded, you know, so often, especially I, I try to fix my, the problems in my life. I try to fix the problems in my heart. I know we, we try to come up with ways that we can fix the challenges we see in our community, in our nation, and in the world. And the truth is, it is the message of the cross that is the power of God. Um, God is confounding the wise at this time. And as we lift our eyes to Jesus Christ, as we look to the cross, what God has done in Christ will fix the challenges in my own heart. It is the message of the cross that's going to change my life. It is the message of the cross that is going to change my marriage. It is the message of the cross that will change my family. It's the message of the cross that is going to change my community. It's going to change this nation, this city. It's going to change the world that we live in. And as we celebrate this moment, this most powerful moment in human history, where God raised Jesus from the dead, let's lift up our eyes. Let's look to him. Let's celebrate him. And let's worship him. Father, we thank you for your grace on each one of us. Thank you, God, for what you have done in Christ. Thank you for the hope that you've given us. I thank you for dying on the cross, and I thank you, God, for raising Jesus Christ. And I pray that in all things we will trust in you, that we'll put our hope in you, in Jesus' name.